English Test GESA Grade 5 Trinity College London For indefinite leave to remain in the UK Permanent Settlement British Citizenship Naturalization and Permanent Residency Self-Secure English Language Tests This is Trinity College London GESE Graded Examinations in Spoken English for indefinite leave to remain in the UK Grade 5 I am your interlocutor for your speaking exam today. What's your full name? My name's Julie. What's your topic's title for today? My topic's title is Hobbies. What are your five topic points? My five topic points are spending time with my cat, listening to podcasts, going for a long drive, watching Netflix, and watching TikToks. Share an experience when you went for a long drive. Uh, I recently went to the north of the country for a long drive with my family. It was an interesting experience for me and I took a break after a long time. Do you like to go alone or with someone else for a long drive? I prefer to go with someone. I don't think so. It's fun to travel alone. What kind of music do you like to listen when you go for a long drive? I like hip-hop um, and rock music, so I like to listen to that category of music. Okay. Can you tell me about a Netflix series you had seen recently? Oh, well, recently I had seen Stranger Things. I had heard about it a lot, but lately I had seen all four seasons. I think it was an amazing show. What do you enjoy about watching Netflix? I believe all the shows are very uh, amusing. They are quite amazing. And I like to watch historical dramas um, related to different periods. So I like those shows. I believe Netflix has an audience uh, from around the world and for all genres of films and shows. Do you think watching Netflix is a waste of time? I believe yes it is because uh, I keep watching Netflix um, a lot and it's very addictive. Uh, I believe it's a waste of time because you might be entertained by it but it's definitely stopping you from doing things that you should be doing. How much time do you spend by watching TikTok every day? Uh, probably an hour. So um, I spend a lot of my time. Sometimes I feel paralyzed that I can't move because I'm too busy scrolling. I don't feel that I'm sitting somewhere or maybe I am, you know, eating food or anything like it. I'm so lost in that thing. Do you have any favorite TikToker? Uh, yes, I've got uh, quite a few. Charlie D'Amelio is my favorite TikToker. I think she is a great dancer. Would you like to be a TikToker, Rande? I wish, uh, but I don't think so. I have the caliber to upload consistently. And along with that, I don't think so. I have any great talent to showcase on TikTok. So probably mm, I would want to be a, a TikToker, but I don't think so. I've got it. How do you spend quality time with your cat? Um, cats are lovely and they demand a lot of attention. So I believe uh, brushing her hair and also giving her treats and then playing around with her, cuddling her. Uh, that's how I spend quality time with my cat. <laughs> what kind of podcast do you like to listen? I usually listen to English podcasts because I love to learn English. And also, I like to listen to podcasts about money management, uh, along with that uh, self-growth and health and fitness. Okay. Thank you. This is the end of part one. Now part two. I will have a conversation with you about two different subjects for two and a half minutes. Let's start. At first, I'll ask you some questions about holiday. When you last friend on holiday... Can you repeat the question? Okay. When you last went on holiday? I recently went to France. It was an amazing experience and I 
had uh, eaten great food from France. I think they have great cuisine. What was the accommodation like? Accommodation was absolutely lavish, so luxurious, uh, and very expensive as well. I was staying in a motel, and uh, it had all the facilities, and I just loved staying there. What are the most important things to think about when choosing a hotel for a honeymoon? I think the most important thing is uh, making sure that it's safe and it's clean. Uh, along with that, there are not any illegal activities going on. And I also believe it's very, very important to check in if that area or that hotel is available in an area where there are other buildings around it. Because if it's isolated, I wouldn't consider it safe. Okay. Have you ever stayed at a really good or really bad hotel? If yes, describe it. I have uh, stayed at a very good hotel as well in Japan, um, but I have also stayed in very bad hotels in Pakistan also. Okay. What were the staff like at Los? What are you staying? The staff was very very friendly. As I told you, I recently went to France, and I think they're all very kind and. French is such a polite language, so I think um, I had a great experience. What sort of problem can people have with their accommodation on holiday? I believe uh, it could be shortage of supplies, like uh, when they go to their bathroom or they go to the restroom, so they don't have enough supplies there for cleaning. Along with that, there could not be many snacks available in the hotel. uh sometimes they do not have fresh food available i think these kind of issues uh, uh a customer can face do you think holidays are too commercialized i believe yes because now because of the consumerism and uh, whatever we watch on social media um i think holidays are considered to be a sign of being wealthy if you're traveling if you're being on holiday people consider that you have money and it's it's a symbol of status now you know that you can afford a holiday so people who can't afford a holiday people think that mm they are not pretty well off so i think that now uh they're advertised a lot and they're commercialized a lot and that's why they have become a symbol of uh social status okay how would you feel if there were not any holiday I wouldn't feel bad to be very honest because I love to stay at home and I don't like to travel much. Um but in general for those people who love to travel it might be a shock for them. Are there special foods connected with the holiday? Absolutely. Uh to the place where you travel it has uh, its own cultural food and also street food as well so I believe uh there is some value to this question thank you this is the end of the test and you have passed with a distinction congratulations this is trinity college london gese graded examinations in spoken english